Welcome to a psychic medium, Tony Green. I hope you are going to enjoy what uh, what what comes out of this show. Uh, we will be doing approximately sixty minutes of what I like to loosely call entertainment. So um, we're going to get started right away. First and foremost, if you are following me and commenting on any any platform, any social media platform, um, I will never reach out to you and tell you to get a reading, so on and so forth. And please make sure you're following my pages and not a fake page, okay? Second, if you have a question, you can call in 845-277-9131. It seems as though uh, blog talk might be a little bit um, uh, stat uh, I don't know what the right word is, but not not coming through clearly, uh, cutting off, cutting off today. So we're going to have to uh, work the best we can with that and be patient with that. If you are watching live on YouTube, you can post a question in. The YouTube chat. Please make the question clear, um, and please make it about a specific um, subject. Okay, I'm going to start the show as I always do with either confirmations, uh, songs, and or names. We're going to get to that right away. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what we're doing first and they're just not, I'm getting nothing. I'm getting air. <laughs> Maybe that's a confirmation. Okay. Here we go. Names. I hear names. First, the first name, I always get this name. I, But you know what? It's such a common name. It could be a different person every single time. So the first name I'm getting is Bob. The next name I'm getting is Julie. Julia, Julianne, any combination of that. And just, okay, so the names could be your name, a family member's name. It could be a loved one's name on the other side. It could be the name of a pet, a place, whatever. It's a, 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 a it will, if it's for you, you are going to know. The next name is um, Hebrew. And they're saying it just like that. Now, I can't roll anything, especially my tongue when I'm talking. So when it comes out like that, I know it's definitely something from the other side. Um, the next name is, or the next name and or word is Ch Chancy, 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 Chancy. The next one is Marguerite. The next one is Beverly. The next one is Elga, E-L-G-A, Elga. The next one is Mitchell, the next one is Lucy. And then I hear Luciano or Luciano, however that goes for you. Um, okay, I'm going to go to songs because that's what I'm hearing next. I haven't I, I've been doing songs or confirmations. So I'm going to do confirmations next. I, I mean, songs next. Um, the first song is, oh, you're the one that I want to give all my love to. <laughs> okay. Um, and again, the songs could be answering a question that you have. Or it could be a song they loved, you loved, or it, it was played at a special event. It means something to you, and you're you're going to know it means something to you. Okay, the next song is 
you know, for so, somebody said songs and now they're just, that's the only song coming through. So I'm going to go through to um, confirmations. And the first confirmation I hear is lace, like the material, like lace, lace. The next, um, and then a song comes through. Give me your, give to me your leather. Take from me my lace. Um, that song comes through with that. And then I hear lace again. Um, the next, so if you, if it, if it's your confirmation, either you already know or you're going to know because you know that this person worked with lace, loved lace, maybe a lace wedding dress, um, or, um, and that is, I think somebody's trying to talk to us through the blog talk thing because <laughs> I don't have, that is, it's going to be a wild show, you guys. I can just tell you that much right now. Um, and so any confirmation, either it's already happened, it happens often, or it's going to happen in, in the future and you'll, it's connected with your loved one on the other side and or answering a question for you. Okay, um, so the next confirmation is Beatles, and then I see those those little Volkswagen cars, and but Beatles and that car, they're not the same thing. They can be, but two sep it can also be two separate things. The next um, confirmation is. Lavender and lilac. The next one is roses. The next one is margaritas. And I'm seeing so clearly the, the margarita glass with the salt around the rim, margaritas. Um, the next confirmation I'm just getting that somebody on the other side, you know, this is what I'm, I'm getting a vision and I hear the word fashion and that this person always was um, dressed very well, was dressed very, very well all the time, always. Okay, we are going to get started. I want to remind everybody I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central times. You can go to TikTok and get all of my uh, clearings. I also try to upload them to, um, to YouTube and all the other social media. And so hopefully you guys are getting those healings and clearings. So I'm going to go to the first caller who is 708, 708. What's your name and where are you calling from? I think this is a blog talk issue. Um, I really do. I think Hello? It, hi there, how are you? I'm fine, can you hear me now? I can love. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Can you hear me now? I can. Okay. Let's just start with what's your question? You guys, that is a really bad connection. And I think it's blog talk. I'm pretty positive it's blog talk. I know when I was calling in and Getting on, there were some problems. I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to um, the questions on um, on YouTube. I'm going to try to go back to blog talk, but I'm feeling like it's going to be a bit of a struggle. But we'll do the best that we can with what we have. So Elza wants to know, 
Um, her has she's from South Africa. Her husband went to Australia to mine gold. And um, her question actually is, I'm looking to see if there's anything else from her. Her question is, I'm going to find your original question, Elsa. What is he looking for? He thought it was gold, but then she says it's an inner journey. So Elsa, you know, sometimes people post a question and believe it or not, I'm a little bit of a very literal person. That's just coming out of my phone, you guys. I don't have anybody on um, on the line right now. That's just, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> That's just coming right up out of my phone. Somebody wants to say something today. Um, so he went there to mine gold. She says it's an inner journey. And I'm trying to understand a little bit. Uh, she's asking, is there something else he must look out for or find? Um, you know, Elsa, here's what, and her, uh, I believe her, her, her her husband's name is Hendrick, if I read it, if I'm remembering correctly. Here's what I'm getting, Elza. Um, he did go there to mine gold. Yes. Is he going to find it? He's going to find something. He's going to find something. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult and it's going to be a bit challenging. Um but there is something he will find. Now I am going to tell you, even if he, if he finds gold, it's not, um, how do I say this? He, it's not what he's looking for. It's not what he originally uh planned on maybe the way he finds it or how much he finds it's not what he originally planned on it's not how he originally planned it okay <laughs> um so just please know that um he may be looking in one spot but he needs to i i'm not really sure they're just saying it's not what he thinks it's not what he thinks. I do feel like he is going to find something tangible, something physical. I do feel like he is going to like what he finds, whatever it is, he's really going to like it. But it is, it, it's, it's in the earth, but it's not where he's looking. Okay, it's in a different location maybe than where he's looking. So that's one thing that's important to know, Elsa. I hope that that is um, uh, I, I hope that's helpful. I hope that's really, really helpful. I'm gonna try a different caller to see if the the line is clear. Six one zero, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, guys, um, here's what I'm going to do. If you are on Blog Talk, please go to YouTube and put your questions in YouTube. I will do my best to get to them. Um, 
you can stay on blog talk and listen but please go to youtube and the link should be in the bio uh hopefully um but go to youtube and uh find find the show and post your questions i'll do my best to get to them um i'm gonna go to the next question who is angie um hey tony do you see a healthy lovely relationship for me this year uh angie is it coming in this year next year it's coming in early next year it is going to come in january february i do see i even if you don't live where there's snow i see a lot of snow on the ground and that's symbolic for me that it's that january february time um that's just winter time for me that's how they show me to confirm it it's going to be after you get through the holidays is it before valentine yeah it'll be before valentine's day but don't try to make valentine's a big thing between the two of you it'll be still a little fresh so don't have expectations for that and here's what I can tell you. Um, if this makes sense to you, it might not make sense now, but it might make sense later on. I just hear reading room. Reading room. So whatever that means for that, please allow it. And when the time comes, you should know what it means and how it's meant and go, oh my gosh. Now I'm not saying you're going to meet the person in the re in a reading room. Uh, you may meet the person in a in one place and that might be something you guys end up going and doing. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question in a second. You guys, I was watching videos this weekend and I watched like a lot of videos um, just just for content and just, you know, in my spare time to uh, uh, kind of empty out my mind. That's how I do it. Um, and this one video came up and I wish I could remember who the person was who said this. It's kind of creeping me out. I almost want to hang up on my phone. <laughs> um, but they said, you know, we when we have all these prisons, right? So we have, we feed, I, I can't remember exactly how they said it, but I'm just going to say it, paraphrase it the best that I can. We can feed uh, all the prisoners but not are homeless. And that really hit differently. Because not only do we feed our prisoners, but we house them, we give them workout equipment um, and a number of other things. But when it comes to homeless people, it's so different. It, it just really hit differently uh, when I heard that. It was one of those statements that really changed my, it changed my mind in some way. And I don't want prisoners to be out on the street. Of course, none of us do. The reason they're put there is to protect us as much as to hopefully rehab them but to protect us because clearly they don't know how to behave, right? And if they're out on the street, they may harm us in many cases. But that just hit so differently when I heard that. I just, I still kept, my brain is still absorbing all of that. We build prison after prison after prison. We could also be building you know, 
I, I just can't. I can't. My brain. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to the next question. Again, if you are on Blog Talk and you would like to ask a question, please bring it to YouTube. I will try Blog Talk again in a moment, but it seems as though um, it's just having complications again. Okay. Laura wants to know, will my son meet someone special soon? Laura, I actually hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I hear, uh, Laura, uh, you know, one of the things I hear for your son is he doesn't know what he wants. Um, he might meet someone and then think like she might have two of the three things or three of the three things or he might think then he wants something else i just feel i i feel like he has that he just there's something where he just doesn't know what he wants he's not sure or he's not sure how to get what he wants we're going to do a love clearing we're going to clear anything stopping blocking interfering with love connections and meeting someone that is a very good and healthy connection for us. Let's heal, clear, release that. And here's what I want to say. You know, it's really, um, it can be quite um, challenging in the dating world because we all have our ideals of what we think not only our person is supposed to be like, but what a relationship is and how it's supposed to unfold. And a lot of people um, go into a relationship with their ideals and we don't take the time to sit down and ask the other person, what are your ideals about? Well, first of all, what are you looking for? What do you want? Second, um, what are your ideals? What, what do you believe a partner is supposed to do or how to behave for you um, and in the past, what roles did your partners take? And so that's really something he needs to figure out for himself is exactly what he wants and how he wants it. And then to look at himself and see if he's that person because a lot of people are expecting their partners to show up and do X, Y, Z, and they're not even doing A, B, C. They're not, they think that, you know, the partner, is the one that carries everything. So please um, have him figure out exactly what he wants in a partner and in a relationship because those are two completely different entities. You might find who you think is the perfect person for you, but they may have a completely different dif idea about what they want in a relationship and what a relationship is for according to them or what type of relationship they want. So make sure he's aware of that. Okay, Laura, if you have a question, please put it in the chat and please ask until I get through everybody, please uh, hold it to one question per person. Um, and then after I get through everybody, you can post another question. And if you are on blog talk, please Come on over to YouTube, put your question in. I'm going to get through as many questions as I can, as quickly as I can. Hi, Tony, can you pick up on my friend who passed away three years ago? We do not know how she passed. Can you, Gypsy Ann, can you please give me her name? And if you just want to know how she passed, I'm hearing... The first thing I hear is heart, and the second thing I hear is complications. Um, and again, if you want me to connect with a loved one, please, I need their first name and their relationship with you, and then I will uh, do the best I can and make your questions exact. And um, And uh, an exact question about life, love, career, finances. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ani wants to know, I want to see what my friend Aveline, 
who passed away a year ago is trying to communicate with me. The first thing I have come through before I even finish um, the question, reading the question, I'm hearing um, that song. And I hope you know this song, Ani. It's it's like a, a slower song, but this first verse is the most and probably only important part. I'm sorry, nah, nah, nah. but that I'm sorry. Um, and then I hear, I wish it didn't, it, it's like a verse from a song again. I wish it didn't have to be this way. And then I hear, um, I'm still with you and I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> I love it. Ani, I love it. Um, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm still with you. Don't think I've gone away. Just my body has, but I'm right here. If you open your mind, we can still communicate um we can talk we can talk and then i'm hearing this song and maybe this is i don't i'm gonna try to get the words to this right and you can dance if you want to you can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't dance something then they're not friends of mine so that song, whatever that song is, whatever that song is, I'm hearing that. And that should in some way be a confirmation for you and should help you. Um, also, uh, don't, 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 uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's the message I'm getting for you, love. I hope that's helpful. Um, hey, Karmic Karen. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Heather. Um, Rebecca, thank you all so much for being here today. Um, is Aquarius my true soulmate? I'm Virgo. Do you mean, are you talking, Karen, about a specific... Aquarius or just are you supposed to end up with an Aquarius? Please let me know that. And if so, if that's the question, please give me the at least the first letter of their name. And remember, you guys, we have so many. Anybody who comes into our life and plays a significant role in our life is a soulmate. Our family, our friends, our partners, they're soulmates. And some of them, you know, I always say, and soulmates come in and some of our soulmates teach us the most difficult lessons we will ever, ever learn, ever. They will teach us our most difficult lessons. It's, it's not easy to uh, teach somebody such a difficult love lesson. And uh, sometimes that's our soulmate doing it. So uh, people always say to me, I want my true soulmate. Say, no, 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 no. I want my true partner, my, my healthy partner. And the other thing I want to say on this, and really please consider this, stop giving people such important titles in your life. Because once you title them my soulmate, my twin flame, which that just needs to be taken out. It's a justification for a dysfunctional and or unhealthy relationship sometimes. But he's my twin flame. He's supposed to act like this bullshit. Bull, 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 bullshit. Bull to the shit. Bow all the way to all of the shit. Nobody, for no reason, is supposed to behave like that with you or have permission to behave like that with you, for you, to you. Bullshit. No, caca. Caca. We're destined, destined for disaster if you keep going. That's pure caca. 
anybody who is meant to be in your life will treat you valuable and not like you're the most important person in the in their life all the time but they will treat you as though you are a valuable person that they do not want to lose this goes for friends partners and yes family there is no title you can give someone or should give someone that keeps you in a dis functional or unhealthy or toxic situation. Now, if you are hooked on, you have to have your twin flame, then look at your childhood. Heal that. Heal whatever is causing you to think you need to win or wait or put up with something unhealthy right the ghost the ghost in the phone knows the ghost in the phone is agreeing <laughs> so please stop using titles and labels people think if somebody's my fiance now i'm going to fall into this role and put up with this no just because somebody is your boyfriend your fiance your husband or wife you do not allow them to do or treat you in any way you would not let a stranger treat you or the, or you you would not allow someone to treat somebody you love that that's that's just my personal knowing that's my personal knowing okay so that's what i'm going to say about that um and when you're asking about partnership, say, is this my long-term healthy partnership? That's a better way to ask. Um, and it, and Karen, when I get down to your your answer, I will answer that. Elizabeth, any messages from my husband, Marty? Yes, Marty wants to say, um, right away I hear, where's the pizza? Right away I hear, let's go, let's go party or dancing right away I hear um, it's time to like turn that frown upside down it's time for us to reconnect um, I, what I'm gonna say is these are things maybe he did say or he wants you to start doing only you know that the, the the answer to that Elizabeth he really 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 wants you to be happy again like really have joy in your heart um and so i'm going to do a clearing healing for any um thank you for anything we're hanging on to that we need to let go of let's heal clear release that elizabeth i hope that helps you i really do um uh, why is this not showing up okay elizabeth uh, blessed one Hi, Tony. Can I have guidance for my ancestors, my mom, Yvonne Rod Rodriguez? Do you mean, uh, you know, blessed one, for my ancestors, my mom, Yvonne Rodriguez, do you mean from her or for her, what you need to do for her? Or do you mean from her for you? I'm gonna um, go down a little bit. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Okay, Karen, I'll take care of that next. Uh, uh, blessed one, can you tell me for her or from her? Um, that's going to be really important to this. When you respond to that, I will answer it. And you guys, if you're not, if you're posting a question and walking away and then not able to respond, that's I'm I can't finish answering. Um, 
And if you are asking a question, please um, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the like button for me. Thank you so much if you're asking questions. Uh, goodness gracious wants to know, hi, Tony, do you see me traveling anywhere this year? Well, it's up to a, a very small travel, yes, but next year will be bigger travel. And I feel like that travel is going to come in uh, definitely, well, not definitely, possibly mid-May you'll have travel next year. Also, I see there's the possibility, but it's it's a uh, in February, you might travel in February and then again in mid-May. What I'm hearing is get everything in order before you start to travel. But as for this year, I know there's a bit of year left and um, I'm just hearing for some reason, you might do shorter travel, um, like travel to, like uh, uh, someplace a little bit closer. Now, if you do already have something planned, they wouldn't be talking about that. They're talking about things you might not know about yet. So if you have something planned that you're, you're, you're thinking, I'm going to do this, it's already all planned out, that's not what they're referring to. They're talking about things that you might not know. Any travel that is not planned for this year, you probably will not be doing unless an emergency comes up. And But there will be some, some smaller travel like city to city, possibly. Next year, there's going to be bigger travel, two, possibly three travels, trips, and two of them are further away. And that's what I have for you, love. That is what I have for you. Okay, I'm going to go back to Karen. Karen asked um, if Aquarius what is her potential partner. I hear yes. Um, you can... Uh, uh, Karen, you can stay in this for as long as you would like to. Um the what I'm really hearing is make sure you're getting what you want out of it. Make sure that whatever you want out of this, you're getting it. And make sure you are still doing and being you. Whatever that means for you, uh, Karen, I hope that's really helpful for you. I really, really do. Okay, hello, Tony. Can Spirit tell me where I need to go for the best life work situation? Thank you. Holding on phone. Thank you, sweet. I'm so sorry you can't get through on the phone again. Anybody on blog talk that is waiting, I apologize. Um, please go to YouTube and pop in the question. I'm going to get through as many as I can on YouTube because I'm just not being able to hear anything except for that in my phone okay uh karen can uh grandma kitty i'm so sorry grandma kitty can you please uh give me two choices of where you would want to choose um to go now i am hearing a couple things for you now i don't know if you live in new york have lived in new york it's it's not new york it, that's what i'm hearing right now it's not the new york area it's something a little um smaller in name is what i'm getting grandma kitty um yeah, Grandma Kitty, you're not wrong. Very weird phone stuff going on. I'm going to scroll down, Grandma Kitty, to see. Um, Arizona is really good for you. Um, New Mexico would be okay. I personally wouldn't move to New Mexico just because of a lot of things. Arizona, as long as you're near... Here's what I'm going to tell you. Oh, Jesus. Um, toward the top of Arizona, okay? So if you do Arizona and the bottom, the uh, what is that, north, south, 
the northern, the more northern, thank you, yes, <laughs> yes, northern part of Arizona. And if I go left, no, right, yes, north, the northeast. <laughs> Y'all, I took geography three times. I shouldn't even say that because um, that just makes it even worse. Um, uh, north, east, and not right on the line, a little below. So if you cut Arizona in half the long way from top to bottom and you go east, it's near the top and in the center. That's what I have for you. Um, that's going to feel so good to you, um, Grandma Kitty. You're going to love it. We're going to go to Sal. Hey, Sal. Hey, you guys. Sal has another book out. So if you guys want to um, check out his newest book, and he's working on a third one, uh, you guys check it out. Um, I have a friend who is starting to do day trading with a bot program. He is offering me a place in this also. Uh, Sal, personally, okay, I'm just going to tap into spirit for your answer. Uh, don't, don't, before I could even ask spirit the full question, don't, don't, not worth it. Um, it sounds good, but it, it, it's, yeah, I just hear that you have the right to do whatever you want. If you do it, do minimal, do minimal. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, Elza, you're welcome. Let's go to Jade. Everybody, please remember also that please one question until I get through uh, all of the questions and then I will start on second questions. Hi, Tony, I've posted a question in your last three shows, but always go unanswered. I give an hour, I get to as many people as I can. Um, if I did not get to you, I'm sorry. Um, you mentioned the name Chauncey at the beginning of the show. I did. I almost didn't because it was such a odd name. That is my dog. I knew that was going to be a dog's name. I just knew it. Um, he's living and I love him dearly. Okay, so somebody, Jade, somebody from the other side um, is letting you know they are seeing and still knowing what's going on in your life. It's such a confirmation because some when I hear a name, it can be somebody from the other side saying a name here. So, and I get mom. Now, if this is not your mom, I hear mom. Um, it's like your grandmom or great grandmom. And it it's, or it's a loved one on your mom's side of the family. Okay, Jade, thank you so much for that confirmation. And um, I hear, so I know we all have several people on the other side, but what I'm hearing is we love you, we, we love you, we love you, we love you. Okay, Jade, I hope that is helpful for you. Uh, you're welcome, Heather. Erin, Erin wants to know, uh, where do you see me buying a vacation rental? Again, you guys, if you're asking a location, give me a couple of options um, so that I can, first of all, make it as quick and um, as quick and, you know, I'm not trying to scan the whole map for you, if you will. Um, thank you. Um, And again, one question until I get through everybody. Um, Eva, you seem new to the show. Thank you. I haven't seen your name before. Thank you for the question. Do you see my elder son getting lucky in love and having a happy relationship? Yes. I feel like this might not happen early in life. It's going to happen a little bit later in life. I feel like when this person comes in, it's going to be such a good connection. 
I do feel like, and whatever we consider later in life, um, I do feel like he, he's, um, he's okay waiting, if that makes sense. He's okay with how, not waiting, he's okay with how things are now. He's very okay with how everything is now for him. Um, Ani, I think I answered a question for you, so I will come back to that if I get through everybody. Okay, Magnets Million wants to know, hello, was it true that D didn't feel a connection between us on Saturday? Yes and no. Um, not the same connection you felt. And that's that's always a difficult situation. So, and this is, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to add just a, a teeny bit to it, okay? Um, not the same, uh, their experience was very different than yours, but because of something else going on with them, and here's what I'm going to say to you. If somebody tells you that, believe them and just cut, quit, run. Because if they did, that's that's a kind of harm, hurtful thing to say to somebody, but it, at least it's honest, okay? If somebody tells you that, thank them because they're not trying to string you along and they're not trying to breadcrumb you. So be smart enough to take that and run and just cut it and don't let them come back and say, oh, well, maybe this or maybe that, maybe I will if no, cut it um, and move on and find something else, someone else that does have that connection um, and thank them. And it's okay, you know, listen, there have been people you didn't feel a connection with for whatever reason, that's all good. It's okay. It's okay if we do not feel a connection with something. The beautiful thing is when we can be honest with somebody and say that, but then you don't have to ever, you know, communicate with that person again. Hey, Jay Fantas. Hey, um, Genevieve. Uh, <laughs> she says the guy talking on my phone sounds kind of hot. <laughs> The creepy ones always are. <laughs> the toxic, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, if I had to do a different career, it would be as a, as a, I was going to, as a comedian, I, I, it really would. Um, this is uh, new also, here we go. Hi, Tony, hi there. Is Peaches interested in me or just thinking I'm attractive? Um... Okay. Okay, I asked like six different questions and this is what I have. She's interested in a friendship or Peaches, I'm gonna say this, Peaches is interested in a friendship I, I don't know why I get this feeling or this seeing of being um, just like um, kind of kind of just like likes attention, likes to have, like somebody who likes to have people when they need to call them or and then if if you looked here's okay this is the way i'm gonna say it 
if somebody is truly interested in you, we know by their behaviors and their body language, their eye contact, as much as their words. If somebody is being a vague and a little flirty, and which I feel like, and being, um, it's like a cat and mouse game is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> and um, we know how somebody who's truly interested in us behaves because we've been truly interested in people and we know how we behave. But we've also had people be truly interested in us and we know how they behave. That's that's not because it was that person and that's how they behave and maybe this person behaves differently um i feel like this i'm just gonna say it this way and it's a bit of a game like again a cat and mouse likes to get people on the hook button and reel them in but then loosens the reel a little bit likes to have people like them. That's what I'm getting. I hope that makes sense to you. Not truly interested for the correct reasons. And even the guy on the phone is agreeing. And I am going to say this about my phone today. I did think at one point I also heard a woman's voice. So for whatever that's worth too. Um, I am going to go to, okay, Gypsy Ann, her friend Glenda. Okay, Gypsy Ann asked earlier if, how her friend passed, and she's saying uh, she was diabetic. Her name was Glenda. I feel like I'm going to tell you this, her organs but and her heart there were complications whatever the complications were really compromised in some way her heart okay i'm hearing heart now it's true people can literally die of heartache it might not happen all at once but it can happen over time but i'm hearing heart and complications so whatever was going on, it could be a combination of things, but in the end, it just stopped. So I'm so sorry for your loss, Gypsy Ann. I really am. Uh, goodness gracious, did I already answer a question from you? I'm gonna answer this so quickly because I'm not sure. Do you see me traveling somewhere in the US or Europe this year? No, next year. Well, here's what I'm going to say, goodness gracious. You know, I can travel to the town over every day. You might do some of that, like un poquito, very small. Um, I do feel like next year you will do a big travel. It might end up being in June. You can change that. You have free will. You can change that anytime you want. Okay, love. The next one is coming from Shannon. And Shannon wants to know, I finally figured out what my dream job is and the company I want to work for is. I'm currently networking. Do you see me getting an offer from them soon? I, I'm actually getting a yes. <laughs> I love that. Be open to, I, I hear be open to locations, be open to starting here to, as long as they know you wanna get here, be open to what you want. You're gonna, even if it doesn't start exactly where you want it, it's going to end where you want it. Remember, remember that, okay? Um, it's not about compromise. It's about getting in. Okay, love. Shannon, I hope that's helpful. Hey, Steve, how are you? Karen, Karen, um, Elizabeth, I believe I answered a question for you. Uh,
Kavita. Hey, Kavita, how are you? Hi, Tony. Any messages from my friend, Diana, who passed over? Yeah, Deanna wants to say she is, um, well, the first thing I hear is the song Living La Vita Loco, Living La Vita Loco, um, turn me inside out, that song, okay? Um, so whatever that means, either for her here or where she is now, it's a, and she's saying it's a crazy Crazy life. And then I hear the song, Ooh, child, it's a wild ride or a wild one. Um, whomever that is by. Um, um, she, the biggest, okay, the biggest message, thank you, thank you, thank you. But the biggest message, that's from her, not me. And the biggest message that she would want to give you is that uh, all is good. All is I love you, Deanna. Um, all is good, all is God, and the word good is God. And understand it's all you. You do everything with your mind. Everything in your mind will end up in your light. So use your mind, your imagination, your thoughts, use them so appropriately. Man, I love that message. Man, I love that message. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're welcome. Uh, let me see. I think G. Francis, will my ex ever... J. Francis wants to know... <clears throat> No, Jay Francis. Her question is, will my ex ever be his true self? No, absolutely not. He can't. Um, he just can't for whatever reason he can't. He, he, since he was four or five, he has not been. I'm, I'm so sorry for that, love. I have a couple. Oh, Stephanie Wells. Um, Stephanie Wells, hey Tony, at this point in my life, do you have any messages regarding my love life? For example, should I stick to being single? Should I accept romantic relationships as they come? You know, Stephanie, um, the biggest thing I can say for you right now, um, Figure out what you really want and do it because, yeah, there are going to be, right? figure out the type of person that you want oh. a romantic, right? You want a romantic relationship with and then don't settle for anything less than that. And um, here's a question I'm being told or a statement I'm being told to tell you. Um, it's nice to want a relationship. But make sure you seconds. Okay, make sure you want to be a girlfriend and or wife also. Make sure you have the time and the ability to play that role and make sure you pick the right person to play it with. Okay. So please make sure you are doing that. Um, thank you so much for everything. I will be back. Wednesday at 7 p.m. If I did not get to answer your questions today, please come back then. Thank you so much.